that headrest on the Camaro looks like three and a dick. <laughs> you see yes. That's gonna be the intro. <laughs> Saturday, we're back in the garage, and we're ready to start assembling the drift car. Uh, so some of you know, something really bad happened, and the engine is really damaged, but we have to take it apart and see what happened. Um, so now we're gonna get the hood out, and then the front end, and uh, luckily the front end is held only by 5-10 bolt throttle, and the whole thing comes out. So now we can see the engine. Uh, this part, my dad and I removed it when, it, when we was with my sister. No, we pretty much these bolts and bolts over there, a little wiggling and that thing came out. So next step is power steering fluid. Really, with my motherfucker. Wow. Okay, so this is the cylinder head. The valves go in inside, they open and close. The intake valve, sits, you, you can see from here. I don't know if you can, there's enough light. No, here. See, there's yeah, not enough light. Yeah, so the air comes through here, the valve closes, and then the spark plug ignites the fuel at, at the right timing, and it makes power, and, and you go fast. That's pretty much how, how V8s work. It's very easy to swap a V8. You just buy one and just throw it in your car. And that's it, just that's how it works pretty much. This is how I did it, this is how I was told to do it, and it takes like a few hours from tops. <coughs> Everybody should do it. <laughs> Alright, so we have to, in, in this car, it's not very serviceable, but to remove the starter, you have to loosen the, the exhaust manifold on the right side, on the passenger side, then you get access to the, to the starter. So we have the control arms out and pretty much everything that was in a way to get the engine out. Now we have to just unbolt the transmission from the, from the cross member, unbolt the subframe and the whole engine should come down and forward, down and forward because of the steering shaft. Other than that, I, I mean, we should be good. Oh, you're going to struggle with those? Are they strong enough? Yeah. Hmm. 770. Pounds? Uh, 66 pounds. Should be enough. And then I'll put one strap here and one strap on the other side so I can like belt, like to level it. Mm. So it doesn't like just plow backwards. In. Yeah. All tight? Huh? All the straps are tight? Just some bolt that piece. Oh, that bracket you were saying? Yeah. The oh, cross member. Oh my god. So, how did you do it before without a lift? Uh, I would just. We go backwards. Oh, backwards. Like this. Just... Wait. It 
Is it? Floating. <laughs> oh, now it's naked. Look at that. All right. Now we have to remove the transmission and uh, put the engine on the on the engine stand. Okay. And that's it.